Hello everyone, I am Vignesh and welcome back to my YouTube channel Cloud and AI Analytics. Hope everyone is doing good. Recently, I have been getting lot of messages from LinkedIn and other social media platforms asking why there is no recent videos on Google Cloud platform. I am sorry, the reason is simple. I was occupied with my office work and also I was preparing for my Snowflake Snowflow course certification exam. You guessed it right and this video is all about this particular certifications only. So what is Snowflake? What are the different certifications available inside Snowflake? And what is Snowflake Snowflow course certification? What are the topics? What you can expect? How many questions is there? And also I'll be sharing my personal experience on the time of giving this certification exam. So without any further delay, let's get started. To begin with, I'll explain you what are the different certifications offered by Snowflake. Followed by, we'll explore in depth and in detail about the Snowflow course certification. And then we will start with exploring the documentation part. For this particular examination, I spent around 80 to 90 percentage of my preparation in this documentation part. If you are able to understand the documentation, if you go through all the concepts in the documentation part, you will be easily able to clear this certification exam without any doubt. Apart from the documentation, if you are not comfortable in doing the documentation, you can go with this Udemy course. So this Udemy course, like I have gone through here and there for a few videos. Apart from that, I didn't complete that entire video, entire course, but here and there I referred for this. And additionally, I have gone through this practice test. Again, I have not given the entire complete practice test, the important topics. So these are the important topics. If you just focus on this 24 important topics, right, you will be able to clear it very easily in the very first time itself. Now I'll explain you what is the different certifications available in Snowflake. So here you can see Snowflow course certification. This is the basic certification and followed by advanced architect is there. If you are data engineer, you can go with this. If you are data scientist, if you are administrator, if you are a data analyst for all the different streams for the different uh, certifications offered by Snowflake. And if you wanted to do the recertification also, you can just go here and you can see there are different certifications. Advanced Ar Architect recertification, Data Engineer recertification and Data Scientist recertification. So this is Snowflow course certification. Here you can see about the certification, like the basic assumption is you should have six months of practical experience with the Snowflake. And these are the important topics or the breakdown of this certification. So the exam format is multiple select and multi-choice questions and the exam version is and the total number of questions it will be 100. So the time limit it will be 115 minutes. Basically the language available for this examination or for this certification is English or Japanese. I went with this English and registration fees is 175 USD dollars and passing code is 750. And the next one is prerequisites. There is no prerequisite for this as this is the base certification for Snowflake itself. And then the delivery options. Basically, we have two types of delivery option. One is the online proctoring. The next one is on-site testing center. The next one is this domain breakdown. So here you can see Snowflake data cloud features and architecture. You can get around 25 percentage account access and security 20 percent 20 percentage performance concept 15 data loading and unloading is 10 percentage. Data transformations is again 20% and data protection and data sharing is also 10%. So if you just focus on this 24 important topics, you will be able to clear the certification easily. I can guarantee you that. The next part is the documentation part. So I'll explain you how to navigate to this documentation part. Pretty much you have to spend time on this guide and also on this references. These are the two main thing where you have to spend. And the first thing is inside this guide, you have to go through this virtual warehouse. So all these things are important. So overview, multi-cluster, consideration, working with warehouses, query acceleration service, monitoring load. So this is important topic and database tables and views. These are three topics which is very important and the table structures. Basically, what is micro partition, data clustering and what are the different types of tables like what is temporary, transient, external table and permanent table. And the next one is search optimization service. I got, I still remember, I got three to four questions on this search optimization service. Data loading and data unloading. This is seriously, you will get around 10 to 12 questions on this topics also. Like how to copy, how to uh, get, how to put, how to list those concepts, those comments, you will get a lot of questions. And also on internal and external stages. Queries, you can just concentrate more on queries and data sharing and collaboration. So those things. And apart from this, 
you have to just concentrate on the references not in depth but having a rough knowledge will definitely help you it will come in handy in the time of your certification exam so apart from this you can just focus on this user roles and privileges this is also a very important topic like what is this admin when to use this admin when to use user admin you will get lot of questions on this and which will warehouses resources monitor and uh, query profiling what is streaming snow pipe so these are some important topic uh, you will get lot of questions on this and the next one is udemy course you can just take a look at this udemy course basically uh, it is a small course only it's around 7 hours so but my idea or what i'll refer what i'll suggest is to go with the documentation itself stick with the documentation understand what is this understand what is this part you can you will be able to easily clear this certification without any doubt before concluding this video i have a small update from my end i have recently uploaded a course called gcp's professional data engineer certification a complete guide in udemy platform if you are someone who's looking for preparing for google cloud data engineer certification or someone if you are wanted to gain good knowledge or good understanding of google cloud platform i recommend you to go through this course and uh, get the best out of it if you want a free coupon to enroll into this course please reach out to me i'll help you with that so that's it for this video i hope you got some meaningful and good insightful knowledge on how to prepare and appear for snowflake snowflow course certifications please do like share comment and subscribe to cloud and ai analytics i'll see you in the next video with more interesting content from google cloud platform and from other cloud platforms as well until then it's bye from viknesh happy learning